Greetings, friends and fellow cigar box guitar enthusiasts. Del Puckett here. And in this episode, I am going to try something different. Recently, I went to the store and I bought some of this, this stuff here. This is like epoxy. And after reading the instructions, I think this is exactly what I, what I need. So I got some epoxy and I, I have also been collecting um, multicolored pieces of glass from the, where I'm cleaning up outside. So I got all these blue, cobalt blue pieces of glass. Just old, I don't know what they are, maybe wine bottles or something. But I got, got a whole bunch of these things. So I'm going to clean these things up. Then I'm going to hammer these things into dust. And of course I'll be wearing eye protective glasses and a mask, my whole bit. Dude, I don't want to breathe in it, this stuff or get it. I can already tell it's getting some slivers on it. Let's see if the, uh, I don't know if you can see that glitter. It's probably just the uh, patina from these things sitting out in the sun for years and years and years. So, and then I'm gonna make some inlays. Now I put some masking tape on this and see this little X pattern here? I learned this from uh, Michael over at Southern Fire, how you just do an X from corner to corner and that gives you the center of the fret. Um, so then I'm going to use my Fosner bit and then bore a quarter inch hole, maybe, I don't know, maybe, maybe a quarter inch deep. I'm going to go pretty deep. Maybe, maybe the depth of the, of the fretboard here. And then I'm going to mix up, mix up a uh, concoction of glass and epoxy and then put it in, in that little dowel, in that little hole. And then of course, uh, I read the instructions, you, you got to let it cure and then if you don't want, to, don't want any bubbles, you hit it with a with a uh, blowtorch or whatever. I, I'm uh, I don't have a blowtorch. I have a lighter, I guess, or, or a match, or a candle. I could use a candle, uh, but I don't know if that's even going to be an issue here. So, anyhow, I uh, I'm going to attempt to make some blue glass epoxy inlays for this thing here. This is going to be a uh, padron box. I started sanding the top of this thing, dark stain it. And uh, the neck is just a, a dug fur. I did mask it off pretty good though, because I don't, I'm not really sure what to expect from this epoxy. I don't want to get it everywhere. So if you, I'll be wearing gloves and safety this, safety that, safety everything. Because why? Well, I don't need to preach to the choir about being safe, especially me. I'm probably the most unsafe one of y'all. But I am going to take precautions on this time here because uh, nobody wants an accident especially if the accident can be preventable, prevented. I'm going to start off by washing all this glass, just water. Just get all the dirt off of it. It's like blue ice. Oh yeah, look how, look how dirty it is. My gosh, that wears it. Dirty! And then I'll just wipe it off with a paper towel and then dry it up. And then begin to smash! So you can see how nice and blue that is. In fact, to be honest with you, I'll probably only need one piece. <laughs> Seriously, I could, uh, I could get by with, uh, well, I'll do two pieces. Just because um, I don't want to have too much and I don't want to have too little. This way I got plenty more for the next, for the next project. Right? Right, Jasper? You curious as to what I got going on, huh? Yeah, I bet you are. Bet you're curious, honey. You want to eat some of this? Hmm? Yeah. Watch your step. There's some sharp glass around here, buddy. Yeah. This other cat, this black one here, I think she got in a fight because her face is all swollen up. She got some blood on her forehead. All right, guys. Cramping my style. Cramping my style. Dog says, hey, what about me? What about my knees? And where's Mojo? Come here, Mojo. Come here. Come here, buddy. Mojo. He's fixated on the cat. Hey, Mojo, come here. 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 Not you. Hey Mojo. Hey Mojo. Hey 
Okay, I got a, a makeshift mask. And yes, I will cover my nose. This is just a shirt and some masking tape, safety goggles, gloves. And a hammer, glass, and um, another piece of paper. All right, here we go. Hmm. I should have put a brick or something underneath it. Looks like it's working, though. Looking pretty good. Um, I could probably do this for a long time. Just get, pulverize it into dust. Okay, I'm taking a little time out here. You can see this is turning into some dust pretty good. Problem is, is that this workbench it's a board, and so that the glass just goes into the board. So I need a hard surface to pound this on. So I've got this block here of titanium or something. I'm not sure what it is. It's heavy as all get out, man. You can't, you can't, you cannot lift it with one hand, dude. It's just like, ee. it's this is freaking heavy. So what I think I'm gonna do here is. Put this stuff on top of this hard surface. <clears throat> and then uh, continue pounding. Hmm, maybe just do it like that. Huh? Okay. Glasses on. Mask up. Where's my gloves? Oh, yeah. Here we go. Gloves on. That's pulverized. I can probably get some more. But yeah, there's a lot of tiny little shards in there. Let me do it one more time. One more time. All right, we pounded. Oh yeah, you can see it coming out the cracks here. I wrapped this thing and I pounded the crap out of it. So I'm fully expecting some dust here. Blue dust. Oh yeah, oh my gosh, look at that. Oh my gosh. It's like blue sugar. Okay, so, <laughs> okay. Throw this away into the trash. So, wow, that's so cool. I don't know if you can see that or not. So we're gonna pie tin. Actually, this is just the top of a cookie thing. And you can see the separation there with the little tiny little pieces and the bigger bigger pieces. So I'm thinking about doing is just maybe putting a couple of the bigger pieces in there since the bigger pieces are darker. It seems like the thinner that it gets, it kind of loses its color. It just turns into the dust. And then um, epoxy just those big pieces in there. Just that way I retain the, the blue color. Anyhow, that's, that's what I'm going to try right now. I opted for the 5 16 Forstner bit 
for these inlays. And the reason being is because I think they're just a little bit bigger than a quarter inch. So I think a little bit bigger is gonna be what the doctor ordered. Made sure that they are all underneath level. Now I'm mixing up the epoxy and I already learned something right off the bat. <clears throat> what is that? I'm glad you asked. Is that I started stirring this thing with a Q-tip. Well, the air that's inside the Q-tip made this all bubbly. I don't know if you can tell or not, but it's definitely got bubbles in it. So I was like, oh, like, well. How about if I stir it with the stick end? And sure enough, no bubbles. Now comes the scary part, and that's putting this in here. And I don't want to get too much where it spills over because my the drill destroyed the tape. So I'm kind of doing this freehand. I really wish that tape would have stuck. I tried to do it twice. I put the tape on a second time and then tried to cut out the holes and still didn't work. So I was like, ooh, forget it. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go real slow and just do a drop at a time. Ooh, see how fast that drop went? Not good. All right, so I'm experimenting with the drops to see how fast the drop goes so that I can hover over the hole. All right, this is going to be a painstaking process. One drop at a time. Ooh, okay. All right, this might take a while, guys. I'm going to put you on time lapse here. So I made sure to get a concave just slightly on each on each of these guys. What do you think, dear little buddy? Huh? What do you think? And according to the rules, we gotta wait for 72 hours. Okay. 
You guys hear the rain? Kind of reminds me of Portland. Oh, <laughs> I also wanted to show you my mask. My mask is and was I was gonna say it was a cigar box guitar shirt, but it's not. Never mind. <laughs> um oh yeah, the rain. It's coming down. Shut off my lights. I don't need any short circuits. Okay, so I was gonna leave you with this little bit of information. So, what to do with the remaining epoxy? Well, I don't know if you can see it, but way up there on the wall, on the shelf, I set that neck so it could dry. But I have two of these. I have the bubble issues effervescence, and I was just whipping this thing up like whip whipped cream. Just making this thing really bubbly. It's like, oh my gosh, this is like white. Looks like you know what. And then um, this here is still crystal clear. So yeah, so if you take your time and just kind of stir it slowly, it stays bubble free. This is what I was gonna do. I was going to, I am going to, and too bad I don't have like a little bottle cap because this would be perfect for a bottle cap. But I'm just going to stick this piezo. Yeah, I'm going to look for a bottle cap or something because this ain't going to work. This is not going to work. And I want it to be uniform. So, anyhow, that's what I'm going to do here. It looks like I still have a little bit of time before this thing dries up. We, uh, the thing says I have 15 minutes. So I got 15 minutes to find a bottle cap to encapsulate piezo. Here, oh, here's a bottle cap. I don't know if it'll be big enough. Let's see. I was looking for a beer bottle cap. Yeah, that'll work. Hey, problem solved. Okay, we're going to do this then. So, guys, tune in to the next video to see how this bad boy turns out. And what to do with this stuff here. Hmm. Sure is pretty. All right, guys, we'll see you in the next video. Cheers. Looky there, blue crystal piezo.